Uh, pull up that clip with the fucking dude with the AR-15 and the woman with the pistol. Um, you want to play that on my side? Yeah, fire away. This is this was some crazy shit. Now is this guy at his house? Homegirl's just got a little pistol she's waving around. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I love that they're dressed like they're going to like a polo lounge later. Is you know? that their house? It, yeah, it's their house. And these protesters just walking by walking down the street. And uh, now, yeah, homeboy's got an AR-15. She's got a pistol, and she's just pointing it at people. What are they doing? They're on public property, no? No, they're on private property because it's their lawn. Well, but they're on the sidewalk there in the street. I don't know. I don't know what's okay. going to happen with this. Okay. Well, okay. she's on her grass. She is. She is, yeah. They're there. I okay. guess I get. I, I don't know if they were. They thought that people were going to bum rush the house, or what? The, what the story is? <laughs> I always wonder, though, in situations like this, because um, we've got. I we, love that she's the like m- main aggressor, and he's kind of behind her. Yeah, with the AR fifteen. Yeah, and she's the one that's like, "I am gonna fucking yeah kill you, motherfucker." Now it doesn't. It doesn't appear as if either of them know how to use those weapons uh-uh. whatsoever. Uh-uh. But, uh-uh. The um, way that she's holding it is the way suspect. that they're waving it around is mm-hmm. super suspect. Where you're mm-hmm. just like, "Whoa!" Like that's her whoa. purse. Her purse pistol yeah. that she's never really shot. He so some people are saying it's a it's a gated community. It's on a private road. Okay. Um, they these people have no training, but they broke down the neighborhood wrought iron fence to get into the neighborhood. Is what they're saying. Oh well, then fuck you. So well, if that's the case, and I'm I'm just reading your YouTube comments here, uh, Jacob Nickel and the boys, and praying for rapture. I don't know who praying for rapture is, but I like that praying for the rapture. Uh, I don't know who that is, but uh, if that's the case, then yeah, I mean fuck. I'd kind of just be posted up on my porch, too, with, with everything that I got at that point. But uh, Right? Strange. And what is she saying? Get out of here? Who knows? Okay. Who knows what she's saying? Uh, I just I saw this clip going around on everybody's Instagram today. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, man. Um, okay. That's kind of where we're at with all this shit. Sure. But I, it, it's funny that this, this popped up because I always wondered in, in Los Angeles um, what this would be like as well. Because... There is streets off of like Santa Monica and Pico where it's just like you're just magically in neighborhoods there with yeah. fucking multi-million dollar houses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What if you just decided to f- fuck up a house or burn it down? Like nothing's really stopping you at that point. Well, Ken and Karen. Were Ken and not- Karen, right? Yeah, who said that? Safety first medical. Way to make us look good, Ken and Karen. Well, that's what everybody's calling them, Ken and Karen okay. online. So this Perfect. has been, been trending so on So the there male Ken version Karen. of Karen is Ken. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Love, I'm, and I'm for that. Love it. Look at these yeah. two. Put that picture up there. I Look at that. Oh, but I that love America. It. I love it. Home of the free. Get off my lawn. Ain't that America? Literally, you get off my lawn, me, baby. <laughs> He's got a good uh, trigger finger there. She does not. No, she's she's got her finger on the trigger. That is not on the trigger, safe. and that's a bent. That's a very bent. Look at it. He's flagging hand. his own wife there. He's got it pointed right at her. What if he just <laughs> blasted a fucking tit off there? You know. That would have been a crazy scene there. Ken. Ken, Ken and Karen Ken. do it. St. Louis couple. Well. Um, yeah. Whoa. All right. Look at that white rage. Look. If, if somebody I feel fucking you, busts Karen. down your neighborhood, though, and, and in your neighborhood, what I are you going to do? The, I feel the frustration from everyone. What are you going to do, On all man? sides. Everywhere. I don't know about busting it's into people's neighborhoods lot. and shit. I don't know That's either. A much. It's a little bit much, yeah, because yeah. they were probably like, "We just paid the fucking HOA. Now all that money is gonna fucking go to the gate." I would, yeah, I would. We be wanted the so pool open and clean. Pissed um, at the HOA if that sure. if that fucking happened. You sure. know what I'm saying? Sure. Ken and Karen though were ready for the fights. Oh my gosh, I love it. I like that that he went pink collar too, like with that. I don't know if they were really planning move. on any of this. Well, they obviously had time to go get the fucking guns. It's not like an AR-15 was sitting out by the fireplace. Yeah, or but I'm sure it? they weren't like, 
Or was it? But I'm it? sure they weren't like, oh, okay, well, does this look good? Like, do you know what I mean? I do. Is that weird? Yeah. So I have a go-to shirt where if I feel that someone has broken into the house or possibly broken into, it's on a hanger and it's a Hawaiian shirt. Mm-hmm. And I put that on every time. Do I don't you? know if I feel like I'm Magnum PI with it or whatever. Oh, okay. Or when the cops come, I you know, because I know there's going to be body cam footage of it, right? Sure. Because obviously everybody wants a stateside kill and it'd be great to fucking ice somebody who broke in. Mm-hmm. I think it's everybody's dream. Every dude's dream at least, right? Okay. I would, I want it. Yeah. So this is it right here. Put that picture up, right? Is that up there? This is what I always think about is like, shit, what's the picture going to be? And if I'm not wearing that Hawaiian shirt, right. you, you asked me to throw it out during the move. And I was like, no, dude, that's my fucking break in shirt because mm-hmm. I sleep shirtless. Right. And uh, but if, if somebody breaks in, boom, guns there. And then I put on the Hawaiian shirt and then I, I roll around and I want to if I'm going to be photographed because it's going to happen one day. Mm-hmm. Boom. It happened to these two fuckers right here. Yeah. It's like cursed. Uh, Kirsten Dunst might play her in 20 years in a movie. Definitely. And uh, that could have been John Goodman. Maybe 10 years ago. Uh, it's somebody. But either way. Yeah. Uh, Russell Crowe. Oh, I can see Russell Crowe playing Ken. Well, he's playing a Ken-like figure anyways right now. Great. Um, but yeah. In uh, Unhinged. Because then, then you worry. You're like, all right, sweet. Oh, shit. There he is there in he is. Unhinged. Unhinged. Oh, that's right. That movie's coming out soon. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you always wonder if somebody's going to get that pic of you. You know, what are you wearing? Boom, he's wearing a pink polo. Mm. Very Chad. Yeah. 1988. Yeah. Very Chad. He's kicking himself now about that. I don't think sure. he is, man. I think that's his fucking go-to. Oh, okay. And I'm not even mad at it. Sure. Uh, to be honest with you. Sure. That's not bad at all. No. You know, for who he is, khakis, braided belt, mm-hmm. pink polo, AR-15. This is me. Oh, but ain't this that America? This is where I live. Re- rich people have no taste. Well, it's been shown time argue, and time pull again. Pull that picture up one more time. The, yeah, at, that one right there. These are two. Look at their the size of their house and look their at the cut of incredible. their of their jib. Like, look at those clothes. Go to the other picture um, that's right next that's to That's a Chico's. Yeah, that one. That that's one. a Walmart. Nope. Like, yes, that one. Pop that the up. The size of their house is insane. It's fucking amazing, dude. Um, I've, it's great. Look, the house looks gorgeous. I'm not going to bitch about their house. Um, no, I'm saying like. And their choice of weapons. Like, look, it's, that's a nice. That's probably a, a nice little polite pistol for her purse. She just mm-hmm. keeps that in her. Like, one of like three. Uh, Louis, you know, she's mm-hmm. probably got one in every bag, to be honest with you. And she's pulled this one. Probably. Um, but look at his stance right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's some old man shit where it's like, dude, he's got some Popeye forearms on him. He was probably, you know, one of those Ol- Olympic style li- lifters back in the day where he just went into the gym and did deadlifts all the time. Mm-hmm. You're just like, oh, man, you're just doing fucking deadlifts again today. Is it, is it deadlifts day again? Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, he's got the braided belt on. He's got the, the khakis and the pink polo like. I bet he fucked back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I bet he was an, like an old Miss. He looks like an old Miss type guy. Okay. Uh, probably a Delt at Ole Miss back in the day. Uh, Homegirl. Uh, look, it's it's hard to go into her backstory because mm-hmm. I don't know. Sure. I don't know. But uh, she's pissed. She is pissed. Definitely pissed. Get off my, my lawn. lawn. Get off my fucking lawn. Ken and Karen. Back at it again, though. Love um, to see it, and I get it. If somebody broke in, though, hey, man, I understand it. Sure. Uh, look, because how many people were out in the streets? There are probably 50. It looked yeah. like a lot. 50, 60. Yeah, yeah. Um, and everybody's saying those AR-15s are only for feral hogs. They're, they're uh, also to protect your house now, you know? Yeah. I, I just made when the me protests buy an AR-15. Storm, storm the suburbs, which yeah. nobody thought was going to happen. But no. They're coming for you. I, t- I tell you what, if if I'm the NRA, I reach out to Ken and Karen. I'm like, hey, man, what do we Let need? Let me out. What do we you. need to sign you? Yeah. Trial lawyers, Mark and Patricia McCloskey. McCloskey, of oh, course. Shit. I know a Mark McCloskey. I knew they were a Kloski. I, I knew Mark they were McCloskey's a ski. From. There he is right there. No, okay. no, no. Okay, no, so no. he was. I know. He was it's well within his one. rights, I believe. He's probably trial saying, lawyers. I'm, God I damn he's right. He's probably saying he was well within his rights. They know the law. Yep. Yeah. Look at that yeah. stance. Put that picture up there. 
fucking America. Is there a is that a Bloody Mary right there? Is that a fucking carafe of Bloody Ooh, Marys? They were having a Sunday or whenever this was. I'm all in on Ken and Karen. Good now. for them. They were having a, a fucking Bloody Mary Sunday, dude. Absolutely. And then all of a sudden, protesters Here charge they come. in. And it's like, God damn it. Karen, go get me the fucking AR 15. You know? We're well within our rights, yes. Karen. We're trial lawyers. We're trial lawyers. It makes I me know the law. Hire both of them now. Absolutely. <laughs> Their practice is going to explode <laughs> from this. Holy shit. I was not I did not see that coming that they were trial no. lawyers. That's the beauty about going live shows. I'm loving Fuck it. no, I'm we're not gonna quit. To go through it. the full discovery process of this live on air. Fun. That's what it's all about. God damn it. It's about having fun. It's it's a lot about living, but a little about love as well. Uh and these two fuckers met, you know, at the law firm making it work. Yeah. Making their way downtown. Look at their house. She might have been Shit. his paralegal. He may have been married before. We're like not really sure their exact story, but no one they knows. They are really doing it now. Yeah, dude. Whatever it is, they're doing it now. They had Bloody Marys and you fucked up their Sunday, dude. The McCloskeys. How dare you? How dare you, sir? Um, yeah, but they're they're getting off. They're now trending number 12 on Twitter worldwide right now. Ken and Karen. So I love We're, it. Uh, we should actually change the name of this episode to Ken and Karen because this is th this is big for me. This sure. whole discovery of this sure. is big live on air. I was not anticipating this at You're all. You're really identifying with that. I love a good backstory like this. Yeah. Because uh, if you just see it, you know, you don't really know. And now we were able to dig into their whole past mm -hmm. and you're like. God, the Bloody Marys is what, what got me. Is that weird? Yeah, because you were like, I am them. Probably. Karen is me. Throw another 20 on the, on us, Shaves. Sure. Is that us or not? You know? Yeah. she get a bigger gun somehow? Did she go back and get another gun? I think gun? it's just the angle of that. Oof. They're going a little bit more down the barrel with that one. How nice their yard is. I don't like people's mm. shit getting fucked up like that. You know. I bet the inside is a nightmare. I bet the inside is amazing. Oh, I bet there's I mean, a I lot. I bet of, it's. I bet there's a lot of wrought iron, dark. Probably. Dark tiles. Dark, probably dark. You think they get a weird sex dungeon in tapestries. there? Tapestries. You think they get a sex dungeon in there at all? Gosh, I, I don't. You know. I hope so. I fucking hope they do. Gosh. Um, um, cause I think you've got to take shit to the next level. If that is, if that's on you, right? You got an AR 15 readily available. She's got her fucking pistol there. Um, I think you'd have to dude. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think you have to have a sex dungeon in your life. Shit's going to get crazy in there. Yeah. Um, with two trial lawyers too. My one of my best friends from college is, is a trial lawyer. Mm -hmm. He hates his life. Hates all of mm -hmm. his shit. Doesn't listen to the show because he didn't have time. Sure. Works 90 hours a week. Sure. And um, he's got all of this shit just because. All of what shit? The AR 15s, fucking, mm. you know, like all this shit because he's just like, fuck this. I don't know when the world's going to end. People are crazy. I see it in court every goddamn day. Is what right. He says, uh, they must have as well. And they were like, hey, man, we're loading up, brother. Ah, uh, hey, somebody else has got the Mary. Bloody Mary pointed out. Man, if you're having bloodies on a Sunday, Sunday bloody Sunday, Sunday bloody Sunday. They're already half in the bag. These people yeah. are just like walking by doing nothing and they're like, get the fuck out of here. Is there an overhead from their house? Oh, so let's see this other shot of the front door. Uh, scroll down. Yes, that one. God damn, that's a nice house. Meh. Look at that. Meh. Javes is not impressed. Mm -mm. Michaela's not impressed over here. Amazing. Oh, I just thought the inside I know is just the I worst. Bet it's, I, I know bet it's, it's the worst. I bet it's fucking phenomenal. I know it's the worst. I bet you their screening room is top notch, dude. I bet you they sat down and watched Scarface that night together on Laserdisc. They were like, let's crack open the Laserdisc. Oh, oh is that an overhead God. shot of their house? My God. Put that on screen. That is behemoth. Nah. Good for them, dude. James, not impressed whatsoever. Oh, so I don't they see to, anything I like. They had to no. bust through the little gate there to get into their... Th oh, they've got a fucking gate. They've got a gate in front of their house. 
So somebody kicked in the gate oh, and decided shit. to go in and started storming the mansion. All of that is private party, uh, private property. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, man, I'm surprised on a few bloodies that you didn't unleash. Knowing what you know about the law, I'm surprised you right, didn't right, right. just let a round fly just to do it. I'm not saying I think kill they were anybody, more obviously. frustrated than they were like going to kill people. Yeah, but, yeah. but I, I'm saying, you know, maybe like a, like right at the feet, like. 10, 10 feet before their feet, you know? Yeah. Just to let them know that you were serious and that you were also drinking Bloody Marys. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know? Yeah. Just a little. A little scare tactic, but uh, that's a nice house. That's a nice neighborhood. St. Louis. I've only been there a couple times. Um, not a big fan of St. Louis as a city, but uh, they're doing it right. Yeah. You, J- Jesse's not impressed. Not impressed at all. I'd pay 100 100 grand? 180 for yeah, that place. Yeah, 180. Not a, pe- not a penny more. Ooh. Just because I know I'm going to have to just completely overhaul the entire Gorgeous. thing. That's almost like a New Orleans style sitch. Mm. Man, that's nice. He's, there, it was a Jesse, because you're going to have to overhaul the entire thing. I bet you it's they did. Not gonna, it's not going to be right. Pan, I bet you there's it's a panic right. room in there. I bet you they got a full panic room in there as well. Yeah. Panic room, sex dungeon, screening room with sure. only laser disc. I bet you they're, they're, they're living. Water their beds, lives. maybe? Yeah, dude. Yes. But like the kind of water beds that like are firm, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The firm water beds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they got it in like, you know, the early 90s and they're like still believing in it. Oh, yeah. Son of a bitch. Look at He was pimpy back in the day as well, too. The McCloskeys. I'm going to be honest, too. You throw a white power name like McCloskey at the end of it. What's the first name you think of when a lawyer comes up, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, Screech McGillicuddy and uh, McCloskey at right. your service. Uh, McCloskey's a, a, a white name for a white Southern lawyer. Right. The McCloskey's are here. Oh, shit. The McCloskey's are here. I went off on a rant about lawyers a few weeks ago. It's true. They're all a bunch of shit bags. Um, yeah. No matter if they're your lawyers or somebody else's. But uh, the McCloskey's weren't having it. I bet you, you go and look up gun sales today in Missouri. In Missouri, when the McCloskeys, I bet you they're through the roof. Yeah. Makes me want to buy an AR-15 right now. I don't have one. I don't have one, but I'm going to need one in Texas. I have a feeling. You know? You never know what's going to happen, James. You never know. I feel like we lived out our own crime corner on the show today. We really did.